This pandemic is testing our patients' level staying at home, but we should deal with it as a new normal. Do you know, as a student, the most important thing to remember is that hard work is your best friend. Do not focus on what you can't do, but take a look at what you are capable of. Never give up, no matter what. Always try one more time and eventually you will be successful. Succeeding in life is easy as long as you believe in yourself. So students, trust yourself and success will automatically come to you. May we have got the golden opportunity to perform an assembly in this pandemic. And the topic for today is Bully Free Zone, Safe School Environment. We, as you all know, no program can be started without the prayer of the God. So let's start our program with prayer. <laughs> as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from you. For thine in this kingdom, the power and glory forever and ever. Amen. Bullying is the activity of repeated aggressive behavior intended to hurt another individually, physically, mentally, or emotionally. Bullying may be defined into many different ways. Bullying is divided into four basic types of abuse. Psychologically, verbal, physical, and cyber. Physical abuse in a relationship often start gradually, such as with a push or slap, and then becomes worse over time. If you have experienced physical abuse, you need to share this with your parents, and you can contact at the emergency service triple zero. Thank you. A safe learning environment is essential for students of all ages. Without it, they are unable to focus on learning the skills needed for a successful education and future. When violence is part of the educational setting, all students are affected in some way. Surat jaise chamke ke 
have of forcefully criticizing, insulting or denouncing another person. When an individual uses verbal language, example, insulting, teasing, etc. to gain the power above his or her peers. Principal K R M Vaishali and the entire team, I Divya Jain, class teacher of Grade Third C, wants to say thanks to all the parents for your support and cooperation. And in the last, thanks again for watching our assembly.